Hi there, when I first started looking at the Dirty Wave M8, one of the things that worried me a lot was the use of the hexadecimal system on it. Um, I saw quite a few videos and saw these FFs and FEs and zero A's and I thought what on earth is going on here, what kind of sorcery is this that they're going to inflict upon us. And it did really put me off for a while until I made myself sit down and understand uh, the, the system. And I'm guessing there may be people out there who've got one of these machines and don't really understand hexadecimal. Or maybe there's people like me looking at buying one of these, um, but being put off by hexadecimal. In fact, it's nothing to be afraid of. In fact, it's quite ingenious and very interesting uh, when you get to grips with it. So let's try and understand it. Hexadecimal, right? Hexa obviously suggests six. Decimal suggests ten. So 6 and 10 make 16. And this system has what they call a base 16. Now, when I saw that, yeah, I didn't understand it either. So let me just really break it down for you. With what we call a normal numbering system, the decimal system, we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, etc. like that, which we all know and love. The problem with that is that when we reach 99, and we go to 100, 100 needs three spaces, doesn't it? It's three digits. And on the M8, you've only got a limited amount of space, and so you have to do all your values using just two spaces. Now, the highest value on the M8 is 255 or 256, depending on whether you call naught the first one or not. And of course, if you once you do express the number 255 or 256 on the screen, you'd have to use three spaces up. With hexadecimal, you can express those values just using two spaces up. Let me explain. With the hexadecimal system, you start off the same as the decimal system, 00, 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06, 07, 08, 09. But 10, you express as 0A. 11 you express as 0B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, and 15 is F, 0F or just F sometimes, and then you go back to where you were, and when you go to 16, that is 10. Okay, so here is 0 to 16 in hexadecimal. So zero 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 one zero two zero three zero four zero five zero six zero seven zero eight zero nine zero A zero B zero C zero D zero E zero F and although zero F is fifteen, that's given us sixteen things in decimal because the naught is one, you see? And then sixteen is ten in hexadecimal. So it's still pretty confusing, isn't it? We can see the hexadecimal steps on a phrase. Have a look at this phrase. I'll just play it and you'll see it running. It's just a four on the floor bass drum. And you can see on the left hand side there, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So F is 15 in hexadecimal, but it's 16 really because the zero is the first um, value the first step of our 16 step phrase and I've put that C4 note on 0, 4, 8 and C those are the steps that give you the quarter notes in a bar of 16 okay so if you've got four beats to the bar uh, those are the four main beats the four main on beats 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and 4 E and or if you like Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. See? Now, two, five, five, or two, five, six, if you prefer it, counting zero as one, that's the highest number used on the M8, because if you go one up uh, from that, uh, two, five, six is one, zero, zero in hexadecimal. So you'd need three spaces on the screen for that. So that's why 255 is the highest value that we use uh, on the device. 255 is FF. So this is the way to understand hexadecimal. In a hexadecimal number up to FF, the first number or letter represents 16 multiplied by that number. 
and the second number or letter is added to the first. Let's say you had a hexadecimal value of 91. So the 9 is multiplied by 16, which gives you 144, and you add on the 1, like the second figure. So 9 is 9 times 16, which is 144, and the 1 is added on to that, so it gives you 145. So 91 in hexadecimal is 145 in decimal, or normal numbering, if you like. If you had 8f in hex, hexadecimal, the 8 would be multiplied by 16, which would give you 128. The f, remember, is 15, so that's 128 plus 15, which would be 143. So, you know, it's fairly easy to understand. If you want to go the other way, if you want to convert the decimal number to hexadecimal, divide by 16 and add the remainder to the answer. So the normal decimal number 28 that you and I know and love you divide by 16, and that goes once, with a remainder of 12. 12 in hexadecimal is C, so the answer is 1C. 1 times 16 plus 12. So 28 in hexadecimal is actually 1C. So in this way, all numbers on the M8 can be represented by just two characters, two spaces in the display. And please note, sometimes the 0A, 0B, 0C... They're often just shown as A, B, C, D, E and F. So six letters and ten numbers. That's where you get your 16 from. What's helped me is to memorise a few kind of milestones. For instance, FF, I've already told you that, is the highest value on the M8. 255 in decimal or 256 if you're counting naught as one, do you see? If you see 7F, that's kind of halfway up, so that's 127. If you see 40 in hex... That's 64, quarter of the way up. 20 is 32, eighth of the way up. Uh, and C, uh, zero, okay, that's 192, uh, which is three quarters of the way up. And E, zero is 224, which is seven eighths of the way, you know, on the way up to being fully on. Then you've got an interesting one here. A, zero is 160. In other words, A is 10. So 10 times 16 is 160. You have to bear in mind that not all values on the M8 go up to FF. They don't all go up to 255. Now, the chains and the phrases go up to FE, which is 254. The phrase steps, as I've already shown you, only go up to F, which is 15, but kind of 16 steps if you count naught as 1. In the phrase view, the view that I'm looking at at the moment, uh, the volume and the instrument values only go up to 7F, they only go halfway up. If I move along to that using the right button here, if I hold edit and the up button, scroll up there, that is 7F. So that's the highest value for a, a volume. Okay. And similarly, if I go to the instrument and do the same thing, stand by. 7F, you see, that's the highest value instrument you can have. So in other words, you can have 127, 128, if you like, different instruments in the M8. Let's go to the mixer. Now, all the values here, let's go up and down on the on the main output volume here. So this goes all the way up to, all the way up to FF. And you can have negative values as well. We won't get into that for the moment. Uh, there is a chart. Uh, provided in the M8 manual for hexadecimal to decimal conversions. Let's go back to our phrase view. With the notes in the note column, when you get to B9, of course, this is where the hexadecimal comes into play because one up from B9, that's a very high note, of course, is C10. Let's go to that and see how that's shown as CA because we can't have a 10. 10 is A in hexadecimal. So keep going up, you'll see C sharp A and keep going up from that to the next octave and you'll see it go to B, C, B, which is 11, C11. I mean, this is all ridiculous because you're never going to put in notes that high, I would guess. So there we are, that is hexadecimal and it is a bit of a nightmare at first and I must admit I had a few sleepless nights just sitting there thinking, what on earth is going on here? How, how do I understand this? But having understood it, I totally understand why this system is used on this machine to save space. And once you learn a few of these, you know, milestones, like I say, it's not so bad. 
like you know ff is full on 7f is half on so basically if you see f as the first letter you know you're pretty high up if you see 7 as the first letter you're about halfway up uh, if you see 4 as the first number you're uh, a quarter of the way up that's if obviously the value you're, you're going for is the, the full uh, 255 256 but obviously if it's a, a volume or an instrument that only go up to 7f only go up to 127 then obviously half of that will be 40 which is 64 you get the general idea i'm sure so a bit geeky and nerdy this video but in my head i feel a lot happier about this now when i'm on the machine and i see these values popping up they don't uh, confuse me so much you know i hope you enjoy this video uh, hopefully other videos will be a bit more musical but uh, for the moment thank you very much for watching I'll play you out with a bit more of my song. <laughs>